Hi there, Andy from Mod Shoes. Behind me, you can see Terry Rawlings, and he's holding a pair of Rawlings shoes. And in a minute, I'm going to turn around and we're going to talk to him and interview him about those said shoes. So, Terry, tell us about the shoes. Well, the shoes, I, I was really chuffed to be, um, what can I say, honoured to, to have my name associated with DJ Shoes, this is Junction, and obviously Mod Shoes, who push them out there for people. Cool dry shoe, which I'd seen George Harrison wear, not seen personally seen George Harrison wear, which I now realised was called a jumbo cord, which I've just been told today. And I used to say, no, it's a cord elephant cord, which I never could find. But I ended up with a cool dry upper, and so we went with this. We've got some nice colours, which are totally impractical for English weather, but they're nice to wear indoors. But <laughs> since then, they have more sort of earthy colours that you can get away with. It, it's arguable that George was the uh, the smartest of the Beatles. So that, yes, do you have any was. views on that? Well, yeah, best hair, best Beatle wife, best shoes. <laughs> Terry, um, what you got coming up plans-wise? I've got a couple of um, books coming out this year. One, Daphne Sherman, who was the widow of Ben Sherman, the great clothes baron, uh, which is not what you'd expect it to be. It's quite a dark book. It's, it's got all sorts of stuff in it. Uh, death, suicides, all that sort of stuff. So it's not just a, a puff job, that. We've got Martin Chambers' book, the only guy who didn't die in The Pretenders, who actually came give you side of the story of what really went on the pretenders and then it's my book comes out Burma's your bust after that so three in a row we got oh, okay that's pretty cool so any more plans for any more shoes I have more plans for more shoes now I know they have the cold way that I want um, I should be trying them try to get someone to get them done and what do you any ideas on style would it be a lace up would it be a slip on what are you thinking Never, not so much slip-on. I think uh, there's this time in later life for slip-ons. While I can still bend over and do my shoelaces up, I'm going to go for laces. 